this time, says uh, the referee, this time to Charters. Last two or three rounds haven't been a particularly pretty sight, and the crispness seems to have gone out of the punching, particularly of Charters. Renzo landing there with a left. Charters taking that, then another right to the head, and I think Charters is just at this stage starting to wilt a little bit. He gave it so much in those first seven or eight rounds, and the question at this stage is whether he's quite paced this right because he must keep working, he must keep on picking up points. It's obviously pretty close, and the decision may still be up for grabs in these last couple of rounds or so. Punching on the break from Charters there, which escapes punishment. Renzo just a bit busier. Punch going into the head from him again, then the uppercut left to the body. What's Charters got by way of reply? It just doesn't seem to be very much in his punches at the moment. And I think, although he's not in any serious problems or anything like that, this is a bad patch of the fight for Charters. He was scoring well in those first seven or eight rounds, giving Renzo quite a bit of trouble. He's still in the contest there, Charters, but he really does need to start scoring again with those punches that he was uh, teeing off with earlier on. He looks arm-weary. Renzo with his abdominal protector there riding up above the shorts. Referee ought to do something about that because, of course, it can stop body punches going up that high. An old trick of the Marvin Hagler cap, that. Well, there is Charters. How much has he got left in? There are the corner men telling him to keep on working, maybe getting his jab out. Caught with a left there, and Renzo did most of the work and will have taken that tenth round. <laughs> round 11. And Paul Charters here, having earned himself a big foothold in this European lightweight title fight, and looking on course to maybe snatch a surprise win, has just wilted in the last couple of rounds and needs a big round here in the 11th. Renzo, good body punch, that. And another one. Renzo, who had these two points deducted for fouls, just the one knockdown so far. That was Charters in round two briefly from a left hook. He's looking a bit sharper at the start of this round, Charters. Renzo, his defence is quite tight, gets his gloves up quite well. And there's just the suspicion in the last couple of rounds that he's just beginning to wear down Charters and start to get his measure. Watch the use of the head as the referee this time for Renzo. Wait! Wait! Renzo, who lost three times in bids for the Italian title stop, stop. before getting it fourth time lucky. That was in 1989. That's better from Charters. Breathing a little bit heavier now, the man from North Shields. So boxing out of that south four stance of his. Obviously a tough, hard, leathery old customer. It's been a fine effort from Charters. You really couldn't have asked for any more from him. But frankly, in the last three rounds, he hasn't really done very much. And he goes down there. Just a slip, says the referee. I wonder whether there was a punch on the blind side away from us that had caught him, but no. And this time he's wrestled over to the floor. 
and he's getting tired there now. And again, the referee just rules that as a slip. I didn't see a punch, but he's looking marked around the face and he's breathing heavier. These are bad moments now for Charters. How much has he got left? This time he is caught with two lefts, and down he goes. It was exhaustion that had him slipping down before, and for the third time he goes down, and this time he does have to take the count. Gets up at about five, count goes on to eight. Renzo now will sense that maybe he can get this job done inside Chidlin, and another punch. Charters just has absolutely nothing but nothing left, and he takes his own gum shield out. He's just exhaustion. I don't think they were knockout punches or anything like that, but the man had not one fluid ounce of petrol left because he'd given it absolutely everything, Charters, in a brave and courageous effort against the odds, away from home, but he just ran out of gas. And he goes back tired, dispirited. That's a sad sight of a brave, brave boxer. But Renzo has held on to the title. He just outlasted him. There was the left. Charters is very tired man at this stage. And I really don't think it was going to take an awful lot to put him away. He'd just been worn down. Clubbing little lefts there to the side of the head. And good night. Now the formalities. Charters happily is okay again. And Antonio Renzo holds on to the European lightweight title here in Palermo. So disappointment then for uh, Paul Charters in Italy. Colin, uh, he had his moments, didn't he? He did. I mean, you have really got to get to, um, to Paul. He performed so well, especially away from home, and to, you know, come so close. Because I actually thought he was, you know, winning the fight. And, to, you know, he's up to the 11th round. It's, it's a little bit sad to see. Heartbreaking. Uh, he actually ran out of gas, I think, Ian Dark said in the commentary, which was spot on, I thought. Oh, apparently, some of the, all three judges had him ahead on their scorecards. And, you know, the referee was stopping it a lot. I don't think that referee's ever going to do another job in Italy. He'll have to come over here. We want him over here, because he's fair. <laughs> to do one of Colin fights, he'll, uh, he'll be disappointed when he hears that. OK, uh, final piece of action tonight features... Uh,